The South Carolina Aquarium started welcoming back guests nearly a month ago, but a new exhibit is sure to draw in the crowds. We'd like to welcome Joshua Zalavak, Community Engagement Coordinator for the South Carolina Aquarium. And you've got me frightened. Where are you standing right now, Joshua? Yeah, thanks for having us on, Layla. So this is our Megalodon jaw. Um, this is uh, from a shark that existed millions and millions of years ago, um, so not currently in our waters. but. Um, it is one of the monsters that we're debuting this weekend on Saturday, July 4th, as part of our new installation, Monsters from Micro to Mega. Um, it's going to be a new experience throughout the building, and we'll have a lot more cool creatures like this represented. It's amazing. Uh, about how tall are we looking at, and is that the right way to describe the size of the jaw? The Sure, the yeah, you can describe it that way. Yeah, it is, it is probably about six and a half feet tall. I could easily step through the jaw uh, without ducking too much, so... Um, absolutely massive, and, and it's hard to see here behind me, but this entire wall uh, is the silhouette of a megalodon shark. So when our visitors come, they'll be able to get um, a good idea for the immense size of this animal, bigger than a squirrel. It's, well, I have to say I'm very happy to hear that you were able to open your doors almost a month ago um, under new protocols. Obviously, you are wearing a mask, and you have to wear a mask because you're out there in the aquarium, and you've got... Uh, visitors coming by, passing through. Uh, so can you tell us what some of those protocols are so when visitors come, they're prepared? Yeah, absolutely. So number one is wearing the mask uh, anytime you're in the building um, and around people. So we do have some mask-free zones outside of the building if people just need a break from wearing the mask. Uh, we understand that. Uh, but inside the building, everybody has to wear a mask. Um, we're also requesting that people go online and buy their tickets before visiting. So we're going to have dated and timed ticketing. And that is to control the capacity of the building. And so uh, you can go on there, you book your time. That is the time that your ticket will allow you into the building. Uh, and then there's no time on that once you're in. Um, take your time, enjoy the aquarium. So do you have, a, do you stop selling tickets once you've reached capacity? How do you deal with that? Yeah, so we do have a capacity every hour. And so once, once we've reached that hour, that hour is sold out. So if you're planning your trip, you might have to bump it by an hour or so. Um, but it hasn't been too much of a problem yet, and I, and I think um, we can have enough people in the building that uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And going back to the mask real quick, I noticed on your website that it did say for anyone who's three years old and older, uh, they are requir required to wear a mask. So you really are taking this quite seriously. Uh, but I'm sure you did wonderful programs virtually online. So for kids who are finishing up their school year, they're able to log on and to, to learn some things, uh, be somewhat entertained and informed during the summer. But now you're allowing them to come back into the doors, through your doors. So with this new exhibit, so you're talking about from micro to mega, uh, maybe you can just take us through a couple of those steps of what people can see. Yeah, absolutely. So as you come up the escalator onto the second floor, um, begin your journey at the mountain exhibit. And so right there, we'll have a lot of insects. And so that's the micro aspect of, of the exhibit. They are represented by larger than life sculptures. So some 12 feet tall. Uh, we have a cockroach that's bigger than a golden retriever. So some pretty uh, creepy stuff. But um, our hope is to be able to educate people about these animals uh, and to appreciate the monstrous impacts they have. Uh, so while they might look like monsters, they are pretty important as well. And so we'll have our insect uh, display through through the first half of the building. And as you get over to the ocean side, we'll have some of those deep sea creatures. Um, so the inspiration for the Kraken, uh, which is a giant squid, um, he is almost 40 feet long and uh, made of uh, almost a 1,000 recycled plastic water bottles. So uh, we're able to kind of highlight a uh, plastic pollution with that exhibit as well. So a lot of different aspects. Aspects, but really we're just trying to highlight these less uh, appreciated animals, less seen animals. It's true. And, and so many of these animals living throughout the low country, off our coast, it's really quite amazing what exists in our waters around South Carolina. We have such a beautiful ecosystem here. So you learn so much when you come to the South Carolina Aquarium. Uh, tell us a little bit about tickets. I understand that there's a discount Yes, so July is also member month of the aquarium. So for the month of July, all memberships will be $15 off. Uh, that is renewals and new memberships. Uh, and then also throughout the month, we'll have member Mondays. And so those will be very monster-centric around the new exhibit. Uh, and those members will have a chance to come in before the building actually opens to the rest of the public. Uh, they'll get to meet our exhibits team. You might hear Liberty squawking right now. Um, <laughs> 
as our bald eagle. Um, so yeah, so the members will have a chance to meet the makers of the exhibit, uh, which will be really cool. Uh, get to pick their brains about how how we built these creatures and why we chose them. That's wonderful, and it's it's so funny that Liberty should chime in because I was going to ask you how Liberty is doing, and it sounds like uh, she's doing just fine. Yeah, she always makes her presence known, that's for sure. <laughs> she is a beautiful creature. Well, Joshua, thank you so much for sharing with us, and uh, don't get too close to those teeth, okay? No problem. Thank you for having us on. All right. We'll share all that information on our social media platforms. We're back after this.